B12. This is News Watch 12 at 10. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mohammed Abdul Kawi. A Wisconsin police officer was shot and killed Saturday night. Authorities in Glenwood City says the deputy responded to a call to check out the possible drunk driver that had crashed into a ditch. Shortly after arriving, the deputy reported shots fired. The deputy was hit and taken to a nearby hospital where the deputy later died. The individual involved in the incident ran away, but was later found dead in the woods from an apparent gunshot wound. Wisconsin state investigators are now involved in trying to find out what exactly happened. The Green Bay Police Department recovered a vehicle containing a person from the Fox River yesterday. The police said a call came in about a vehicle in the Fox River around 7 p.m. The dive team was on the scene along with other several officers in emergency units. Police recovered the vehicle at 11 p.m. and one person was found dead. The person's name isn't being released at this time. Meteorologist Conrad is facing now joined us. Conrad, it feels like summer today, right? It does, finally, right? It's about time we had some 70s once again, Mohammed. And look, exactly that's what we had. Take a look at this graphic. Earlier today, 70 degrees here in town, 75 just around the corner, Wausau into Tomahawk. So very, very mild temperatures just around the corner. But look at Eagle River, though. Earlier today, only in the 60s and then by the UP, only some 50s up there. Superior was only at around 41 degrees earlier today. A little bit of a breeze off the lake, of course, but lots of warm air down south, making its way all the way up north. Tomorrow is going to be another decent looking day. Uh, the next several days will be even warmer as that air continues to make its way up north. A uh, good amount of clouds right now. No, nothing really falling from the sky here in town at the moment. A couple of sprinkles maybe down by a Stevens Point area overall, though. We are pretty dry. There are a couple of spots with some dense fog in the area. That will be an issue by the morning hours tonight, though. We're looking at temperatures continuing to cool off, hovering around 46 degrees. Muhammad. Thanks, Conrad. The Merrill High School's Raise Your Voice Club, along with NAMI Northwoods, hosts their annual Raise Your Voice for Mental Health Walk today. The club is a student-run organization that has a goal to raise awareness about mental health and share resources. This morning, the Merrill Area Recreation Complex was filled with all sorts of activities, from yard games to live music. Reggie Lati, the vice president of the club, says mental health is an important topic to talk about. So the main purpose of this event is to raise awareness about mental health and break the stigma surrounding mental health. So with having everybody of all different age groups, we're also advocating for the fact that mental health is the same on a spectrum of any age group. So we have everybody here for the same cause of just breaking the stigma around mental health. Today's event had 220 people in attendance, from two-year-olds to even people as old as 90. At 1 p.m., people went outside to walk the beautiful River Bend trails and to enjoy the beautiful weather. The community loves this type of stuff, especially you can see everybody around this place wearing different um, shirts that say different things that we've sold in the past, but um, everybody, they're in for the message of this walk. The proceeds made from today's event will go towards NAMI and the Tyler's Playground, an area in Merrill dedicated to a teen who committed suicide. Yesterday, a 5K fun color run was held in Merrill and for a good cause. Our Savior's Lutheran Church wanted to help make a difference and raise money for people struggling in Ukraine. One of the directors at the church has family in Ukraine and thought this would be a great idea. Brenda Mueller, a volunteer at the church, says that their mission is to help people in need. You know, every little bit helps. Those people are going through you know, such a horrible tragedy at this point, and it's obviously going to be very long term. The destruction over there will take years to uh, try to come back from. So every, every little bit of support is going to be helpful for the people. The money raised from the event will go toward the Lutheran disaster relief in response to the Eastern Europe crisis. Hillstar's Farm and Tomahawk ended their open house tour yesterday. They were letting people get an opportunity to see what it's like in their aquaponic greenhouse. During the visit, guests learned about the growing process in the greenhouse and showed what they had to offer. The lettuce, microgreens, and herbs they grow is important for consumers, especially during the winters. Lindsay Lucas, one of the owners of the farm, says she was surprised on how many people were in attendance. 
it's been a good thing. It's been fun to meet new people. The people that have been coming out, a lot of them are actually interested in buying the greens. And also, we've had a handful of people come out that are interested in doing something like this. Hillstar is planning on hosting more open houses in the future to continue to educate and inspire people around the Northwoods. What better way to start the day than by spreading kindness? Using pine cones. That's exactly what a mysterious group of students has been doing for the past few months. Shana Najawan has the story. We were out of town for a while and we were sitting on our front deck and a neighbor walked by and said, hey, we really like your messages that you were, you've been putting out. And we go, okay, whatever. It was March when mysterious messages started to appear on Jan Berger's lawn. We said, what are you talking about? And they said, well, there's messages in your yard. So we went and looked and there was, you know, we thought, oh my gosh, I think at that time it was be happy or something. And I thought, oh, is that ever sweet? The culprit, a group of kind-hearted middle schoolers. We didn't really have a huge inspiration. We just thought, hey, let's put out some nice words in the, in the world. The idea came about naturally when Naomi, Shelby, and Coleman would play with pine cones while waiting for the bus. Strange four-part snowman with a hundred at least, maybe, I think it was like eight. Yeah, eight pine cone arms. And we'd made a circle of pine cones around it. And then when all the snow melted, mm -hmm. it looks like an O, so we wrote a love around it. Now, their message changes every day. It will be okay. Be yourself, fix the world. It also helps instead of just going on your phones, heads bent down, faces all in that blue eerie glow, you can work on writing that kind messages to others. Berger says the whole experience has been a reassuring one. People are raising some really good kids right now and I thought people need to know that there's really some goodness and happiness and we need that. As long as I make at least someone smile, that's good enough. When we come back, we'll head down to Allen, Texas, where a beautiful day at the mall turned into an absolute nightmare. That and more after weather when we come back. Weather Watch 12 with Devin Biggs, 5 to 7 a.m. Big Cheese 1079 is Big Variety. With Trav in the morning. And the tunes to get you through the workday. Big Cheese 1079. Hang on tight, Wisconsin, because fun just got a lot faster. It's Fast Play from the Wisconsin Lottery, an all-new style of lotto games that combine instant wins with the progressive jackpot. Playing is easy at any lottery retailer. Just print, play, and know if you're a winner instantly. The progressive jackpot starts at $10,000 and grows with each ticket sold. The share of the jackpot increases with the price of the ticket. Fast Play is available now, only at Wisconsin Lottery Retailers. Test one, two. Test one, two. He's going to speak now. The good news. U.S. Cellular gives you $1,200 off any phone with no trade-in needed. Wow. <laughs> so, friend who always has a broken phone can finally get a new one. Oh, it's just a scratch. <laughs> it's broken. Oh. Oop. It's busted. Ugh. We're good. <laughs> oh, no. Get $1,200 off any phone with no trade-in needed. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. There's a whole world out there. Let's go. Where in the world is Jeff Weller? Join me in May at 4, 5, 6, and 10 to see where in the world Delta Connection flights operated by SkyWest Airlines take me. Where in the World is Jeff Weller is brought to you by the following sponsors. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Trav in the morning. Thanks for coming. Listen, love what you're doing, but we need more. More big variety. More newsman Paul Hart. More Trav. People can't get enough. We just need more. So what do you think? Trav in the morning. Now with more on Big Cheese 1079. You're watching NBC 12 from where you live.
And welcome back. Happy Sunday. What a beautiful day out there today. A good amount of sunshine. Temperatures around 70 degrees earlier today. It really felt like a real spring day out there. Uh, right now, same story. Mostly cloudy skies. A couple of thicker clouds are lingering down south, especially by Wausau and into the Stevens Point area. Green Bay, a couple of thicker clouds there. Uh, by Chicago, there's actually some stronger storms right now into central Illinois, uh, developing right now down south as well closer to Atlanta uh, and that's going to continue moving east so uh, those storms do have a little bit of moisture in them and a little bit of uh, lightning and thunder for us though not looking too bad maybe a couple of sprinkles tomorrow S very scattered rain showers as well it's not going to be anything very heavy at the moment uh, then finally Tuesday Wednesday into Thursday we are clear ahead of a little bit more rain moving in by the end of next week though but for the most part most of the week we will be clear maybe by tomorrow we're looking at an additional quarter of an inch in some spots especially by Mosini into Anigo area uh, down into the Wassa area as well here in town maybe a trace of rain winds though it is a bit windy out there here in town right now we're looking at a 17 mile an hour wind 13 in Eagle River and down uh, by Anigo same story Wassa is coming in with a sustained wind around 12 miles an hour that means wind gusts are closer to 20 25 at the moment uh, it isn't raining there at the moment so it's not blowing around any of that rain but by tomorrow uh, things will be a little bit more different temperatures are finally warm we were hitting 70 degrees earlier today now we are back in the 50s by Eagle River uh, Stevens points back in the 50s as well Chicago actually hit 80 degrees earlier today uh, now of course the Sun has set we are back in the 40s and 50s right now 54 here in town 52 in Eagle River 52 in Lando Lakes and down by Wausau we're looking at temperatures around 59 degrees so not too bad for this time of year I'd say that's pretty much near our average the next several days though we will be warm tomorrow's gonna be another chillier day I'd say but look at Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday uh, especially into Friday we're looking at some mid 70s out there there will be some temperatures in those upper 70s as well and then we're looking at next weekend temperatures temperatures back in the 60s still 60s that is a beautiful a warm weather tonight though temperatures around 46 degrees mostly cloudy skies a couple of sprinkles will be possible and that dense fog will be an issue especially by those morning hours tomorrow and we're looking at during the day though 59 mostly cloudy and a couple of sprinkles will be possible our seven day outlook brought to you by Northwoods furniture mattress does show pretty good looking week we have temperatures back in the 70s and a good amount of sunshine Mohammed. Three people were stabbed during a fight near the University of Iowa campus. When police pulled up on the scene at around 2 a.m. on Saturday morning, they say several people ran away. They then found three men with stab wounds. All were taken to hospitals, and they were expected to recover. There have been no arrests made at this time. A shooting at a Texas outlet mall sent shoppers into a panic Saturday afternoon as they fled for their lives. Eight people died and seven were injured. The shooter is also dead. Witnesses described the moment of terror as they sheltered inside stories, stores rather, for as long as an hour before they were evacuated. Ali Shepliard reports. In the middle of a sunny day of shopping, chaos ensued. I see a lot of people running and we are wondering like what's happening. So as we are approaching, we hear more rounds, heavy rounds. And I could see like the, um, like the smoke coming from it and like the, um, like here glass shattering. I could see, um, you know, people running and then that's when we got into the store. Hours after the shooting, shock, fear, and disbelief coursed through witnesses who sheltered with strangers. I was just kind of hurting, helping herd everyone to the back of our store. Following protocol practiced in drills, employees like Joseph Gallagher hoped never to use. We start hearing, rock, rock, rock. No way. We thought it had to be roofing. He walks up. He's seeing the pillars in front of our store get hit by rounds. Gallagher says he and a customer pulled concealed weapons before scurrying to shelter. So we ran to the back, barricaded it with some concrete bricks, and then right then on the security camera, thank God we went in the back at that time, we saw him walk right by, masked up, fake police outfit on. Others say they waited for an hour or more with no information. 
I'm just like, this is this is real life. Like you see this in movies, you see this like on TV and stuff, but this is real life. Until eventually police escorted them, arms raised, to a safe place to reunite with loved ones. A fast food restaurant in Arizona is using artificial intelligence to take orders for customers. How accurate is it though? Don't go anywhere, stick with us. NBC News Watch 12, news from where you live. Sue right, Jake middle, me on the left. <laughs> yeah, I knew I'd Dean, win. Are you saying What's something? really happening over there? I think you're on mute. There's no substitute for real gaming fun. Our fun lives. <laughs> Old Chum Gaming Wittenberg. <laughs> For 46 years straight, more of you have trusted Ford F Series trucks to help save the day, stretch the weekend, haul, or tow just about anything, anywhere. That's because they're built Ford tough. And it's why Ford F-Series are America's best-selling trucks 46 years straight. And for that, we thank you. Because this isn't just about our capability. It's about yours. Get 11% off everything at Menards. Updating door handles are an easy way to show off your style. Quick set handles and levers come in a variety of options across six finishes, including this electronic lock set. Just $49.99 after rebate. Protect your outdoor equipment with Duramax vinyl sheds. They're built using all weather and low maintenance materials, providing a durable and spacious area to store your outdoor supplies. A 10 by 8 vinyl outdoor shed is $799.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Doug. Hey man, nice pace. Clearly you're a safe driver. You could save hundreds for safe driving with Liberty Mutual. They customize your car insurance, so you only pay for what you need. <laughs> Woo! We gotta go again. <laughs> only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Weather Watch 12 with Devin Biggs, 5 to 7 a.m. If you still have a COVID-19 at home test, you need to listen up. The FDA is warning some should be thrown out because of the concerns of bacterial contamination in the liquid solution. The warning involves certain lots of SD biosensor pilot COVID-19 at home tests, which have been recalled. They were distributed by Roche Diagnostics. The FDA says roughly half a million were distributed to CVS and another 16,000 were distributed to Amazon. If you have one of the recalled kits, you should throw the whole thing away in the trash and, not, and do not pour it down uh, the drain. Nurses Week is a time to celebrate all nurses and the important work they do on a day-to-day -day basis. Nurses Week occurs every year from May 6th to May 12th. May 6th is National Nurses Day, while May 12th is the day when Florence Nightingale was born. Nightingale was born in 1820 worked as, and worked as a leading nurse during the Crimean War. She is known to have founded modern nursing, according to nationaltoday.com. National Nurses Week officially kicked off in 1954 and is sponsored by the American Nurses Association each year. Nurses who work in all different settings from schools to hospitals to traveling around the world in order to provide care are celebrated. We're hearing a lot of lately about artificial intelligence and how it's being used to write music and write papers. It is also moving into the restaurant world. A fast food chain in Arizona says AI is helping to fill the gaps since it's struggling to hire staff. Steven Cerbera has more. Hi, what can I make fresh for you today? AI is here in the valley and it's looking to take your order. What else? It's a new system. It's reliable. So it's there 24 7 and it really helps. In partnership with Presto Automation, Carl's Jr. is bringing out artificial intelligence to take orders at drive throughs with one of the first locations in the country being in Buckeye. It can adapt to whatever you're saying and even offer other items on the menu. Would you like to try our jalapeno poppers today? I was a little taken back at first and a very pleasant voice. Store manager Augustine Medina says this AI isn't taking away jobs, but instead lets his staff focus on other tasks like preparing the food. 
we're not cutting hours or cutting a, another, another person from the schedule. It's just someone else to help there. We wanted to put this AI to the test, so we hit up the drive through Hi, what can I make fresh for you today? Yeah, can I get just the famous star, just the burger? Sure. That's the simple order. Now let's throw it a curveball. Can I get another famous star, no buns, make it a lettuce wrap? Hold the pickles, hold the onions. Can you hold the meat? Can you repeat the order back to me? I have one famous star with cheese and one famous star with cheese with lettuce wrap. And that's it. 1462, please pull forward. Thank you. My pleasure. All right, let's see what we got. All right, the burger on my left, this one has no changes to it. Simple enough, but the one on the right, this is my custom order. As you can see, I got rid of the buns in place of lettuce. It has no pickles, no onions, and just cheese, just the way I ordered it. Now, typically I wouldn't get something like this, but hey, I got the job done. The right, process is a little slower than talking to a real person, and it's also not perfect. We we'll always wear our, our headsets, so we are always ready to, to jump, to intervene. What an interesting story. Now, sports reporter Saul Meyer now joins us. Saul, today was a big day for athletes, right? Yeah, that's right, Mohammed. Uh, a handful of student athletes were selected for the Scholar Athlete Awards. We'll tell y'all who won it after the break. You're watching NBC 12, from where you live. If you ever find yourself in a negotiation, one that involves you or your family being injured, you'll want a good law firm on your side. One who will not blink. No matter the size of the case, you want an advocate, totally prepared, impossible to rattle. Someone who has recovered more million dollar results for their clients than any other law firm in Wisconsin. You don't earn a reputation by bluffing. You earn it by fighting and winning since 1930. Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. Stay tuned to get a free pan from Granite Stone. Stuck on eggs, burnt on batter. You can scrub and scrape, but you can't escape the nightmare of your sticky pans. Introducing the Granite Stone Pan, the all-new durable non-stick pan. No butter or oil needed. Watch, we melted down these sticky candies in granite stone, and it just doesn't stick. We cooked a half a dozen eggs, bacon, cheese, and tomato breakfast with no butter or oil, and it just doesn't stick. Look, caramels, chocolate, and cheese, unreal for any other pan, but not for granite stone. It just doesn't stick. Granite stone will be the last pan you'll ever need because it's pressed from a solid aluminum disc for even heat conduction, then coated three times with our durable granite stone finish. Granite Stone is metal utensil safe and won't scratch. And talk about non-stick. This salmon cooked skin side down with no added butter or oil just doesn't stick. This steak is perfectly seared just like the pros. And because Granite Stone is oven rated to 500 degrees, we bake this upside down pan pizza to perfection and it just doesn't stick. Fire Flambe Delicious Cherries Jubilee. Plus, it's PFOA free and 100% dishwasher safe. Call or go online to get your Granite Stone pan for the special TV discount price of just $19.99. Granite Stone is so durable it comes with a 10-year warranty. And with every order, you're going to get a Granite Stone single-serve egg pan absolutely free. It's the perfect size for personalized eggs, omelets, or frittatas that slide right out. It makes the best bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich quick. Yours absolutely free. We'll even ship your entire order free. That's right, free shipping. You get it all, an incredible value. Here's how to order. To order, call 1-800-898-6703. That's 1-800-898-6703 or order online at buygranitestone.com. That's 1-800-898-6703. Call now. NBC News Watch 12. News from where you live. The Scholar Athlete Award celebrates student athletes' success in both education and athletics. Only 32 athletes across the state of Wisconsin were selected for this prestigious award. And to qualify for this award, a nominee must have earned a le at least four varsity letters through the first half of their senior year and must hold a GPA of at least a 3-0. Newswatch 12 Serenity Douglas was in Wausau to capture the moment these athletes were honored for their achievements. Young people we honor today 
are members of what we like to think is the most prestigious all-state team in Wisconsin. The 2023 WIAA Scholar Athlete Awards Banquet honored 32 student athletes across Wisconsin for their skills in the classroom and on the field. They are goal setters. They're assertive. They are reliable. And they are clutch performers. Eight student athletes from our area received their distinguished award, including Florence's Evan Johnson, Kobe's Caden Healy, Wittenberg Burnham Woods' Reese Rogowski, Mosinee's Davin Stoffel, Stratford's Jackson Ormond, Assumption's Kristen Casey, and Three Lakes' Augustus Fink and Callie Volt. I'm feeling excited. I think that this is a really big accomplishment, so I'm really happy to be here and having a good time. The athletes received a moving speech from Anne Marie Anderson, an Emmy Award-winning sports broadcaster. No, it's not yet. Use your differences. Do the thing that scares you the most. Along with the medallion, each athlete was surprised gifted a $1,000 scholarship from the Energies Foundation and WPS Foundation. I was shocked because like it's never happened before and just to hear them say that, it was really special. I was very surprised by that and obviously that's a great addition to this award and yeah, that'll definitely be put to a good cause. Reporting in Wausau, I'm Serenity Douglas, Newswatch 12. Congrats to all those athletes, even a few Newswatch 12 Athlete of the Year nominees in there, so good job to all of them. The Milwaukee Brewers have been bad lately. There is no way to sugarcoat it. They've lost six games in a row, including all of their games on their current road trip. However, they have a chance to snap that losing streak and avoid a sweep against the Giants in San Francisco. So let's see if they could do it and get back on track to their winning ways and snap their longest losing streak this season. Here in the second inning, man on first and the crew strike first. Willie Contreras launches this ball over the left field wall for a two-run shot and the Brewers quickly take a 2-0 lead. But he wasn't the only Willie to put one over the left field wall. Three innings later, Willie Adamas blasts this ball high and deep for his sixth home run of the season, but more importantly, his 100th career homer to put the Brewers up 5-2. Now on to the ninth inning, Christian Yelich up to bat. He gets this one down to the outfield, and Joey Weimer is going to round third, and the throw is going to not be in time, and he'll slide in safe, and the Brewers' losing streak ends at six with a 7-3 to three win. I mean, obviously not a, not a good trip, um, but salvaged it with a, with, a, with a nice game today, and um, always nice flying, long flight, and, and coming home with a win. The win was nice for the team, but it was extra special for Willie Adamas, who hit his 100th career home run. Council talks about Adamas' big day and what it means for the team. William had a nice day. We had some homers with men on base. Uh, that's still an easier way to score than stringing five hits together. But, uh, but you know that that was a huge part of the day. I thought we we had traffic all day, so it was it was it was the kind of day you want offensively. The Brewers will be back in action tomorrow when they host the L.A. Dodgers in game one of a three-game series. We'll be right back after the break. Weather Watch 12 with Devin Biggs, 5 to 7 a.m. There it is. That feeling you get when you can do more with less asthma. It starts with Dupixent. Dupixent is not for sudden breathing problems. It's an add-on treatment for specific types of moderate to severe asthma and can help improve lung function for better breathing in as little as two weeks. Dupixent helps prevent asthma attacks and can even reduce or eliminate oral steroids. Can you picture it? Dupixent can cause allergic reactions that can be severe. Get help right away if you have rash, chest pain, worsening shortness of breath, tingling, or numbness in your limbs. Tell your doctor about new or worsening joint aches and pain or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines, including steroids, without talking to your doctor. Who knows what you can do when you do more with less asthma? Ask your asthma specialist about Dupixent. Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. With the money we saved, we tried electric unicycles. I think I got it. Okay. 
doggy paddle. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Is your bathroom looking old and worn out? Want to update it, but you don't know where to start? Then let VCI Bath & Shower show you how to turn that old bath into an aisle of beauty and functionality. Our residential bathroom solutions provide the best value on the market, and our customer service is second to none. Our cost-effective VCI Bath & Shower family of products has what you need. Remodeling our bathroom was a big decision for us. They didn't make a mess out of our house at all. And at the end of the day, we had a beautiful new bathroom. And it was a great experience the whole way through. We have the best monthly payment programs in the industry with payments as low as $68 per month or no interest, no payments for 18 months. For a limited time, be one of the first 100 callers who schedule a free in-home consultation and receive $500 off. 1-800-908-7527. That's 1-800-908-7527. Factory trained and certified installers made in the USA and discounts for seniors and military. BCI Bath & Shower, the leader in affordable bathroom products. 80% of Americans aren't getting their recommended daily physical activity. It's time to get moving, America. Physical therapists and physical therapist assistants are by your side, helping you move through life. Choose physical therapy and let's keep moving. Our News Watch 12 News team works around the clock to bring you the news that matters most to the Northwoods. NBC News Watch 12, from where you live. Last night, WJFW took home three awards at the WWBA Awards Show in Madison. Jeff Weller and Matt Weaver, of course. They're not here, but we have Saul Meyer right here. Saul, look Saul. at that. <laughs> look at that. Look at that Big handsome winner. devil back there. How did I feel to win? Like, you know, mind it, right it felt really good, to be honest. I mean, this was my first award show. I... I been here what 11 months was today uh, three days it'll be 11 months for me so you know it was it was pretty cool uh, you know to have a award you know especially us being such a small station mm -hmm. you know in, in Rhinelander you know where we're supposed to oh not be the ones but we we showed out and we won a lot of awards and proved we're here you know putting together some really great newscasts it it really felt good you know and the uh, it was it was just really fun. I, I'm honored to win, and you know we all went up there, celebrated, and then had to drive back. And you know we drove through a pretty crazy storm, <laughs> Conrad. Why don't you tell us I a little know, bit about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. You guys were uh, pretty severe thunderstorms on the way, right? It was a little scary. It was I'm talking a lot. It was pretty bad. It was pretty <laughs> bad out there. Uh, taking a look at our seven-day outlook, it gets much better. So look at those 70s. Lots of sunshine. We'll be returning Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday once again. So get ready. Much nicer weather is just around the corner. Ooh, that's 75 on Thursday. I am nice. so excited. That's good to hear. Uh, that's it for your local news. Have a great night.